They are a global company well known for making snowmobiles, ATVs, and motorcycles. Polaris is headquartered in Medina, Minnesota, but the company just opened a second headquarters in Plymouth. In this week's Business Matters report, it is a move that signifies major growth in the company. This is one of the new models we introduced last summer. This is the Razor XP1000. The off-road vehicle in the lobby of Polaris's new Bass Creek headquarters in Plymouth is fitting. 1,000 cc's, they love it out there in the desert. The fast-paced growth of Polaris's off-road vehicle division is helping this global company based in Medina reach new heights. We expect sales to be well over $4 billion this year. They were about 3.7 last year. So great growth globally. In just a year, the company has grown by more than a third from 5,400 employees globally to 7,500 employees. That growth is one of the main reasons Polaris opened up this second headquarters in Plymouth this month off Highway 169 and Bass Lake Road. Right now we have about 425 employees. Um, we're sized for about 600 employees. The new Plymouth office houses about half of the company's divisions from off-road vehicles and interactive services to parts and garments. Employees are still unpacking after moving from Medina and another office location in Plymouth. Now they don't have to travel to the to meet with each other. They're, they're in the same building. After purchasing this building for $10.9 million, Polaris completely remodeled the facility to include a cafeteria and plenty of meeting space. There are 59 conference rooms in the building. Each one is named after a different riding trail that our products are used on. It's that desire to get outdoors and ride that Polaris attributes to its rapid growth. People like to go out and play. They want to go into the woods, they want to do hunting, they want to do a little work, maybe a little farming. So for now, it's full speed ahead for Polaris. Company officials expect to be at capacity with 600 employees at that new Plymouth headquarters by the end of next year.